See, Toledo has a lot of eminent competitors and direct relatives, but many buyers of family sedans prefer this particular model for its peppered southern temperament. And it seems that such a choice will be justified, even if the Spaniard is no longer the first youth. See, Toledo is built on a single Volkswagen platform, which also served as the basis for the Golf 4, Bora, New Beetle, Audi A3, Skoda Octavia, Seat Leon. And the Spaniard is not from Spain at all, but from Belgium, where it is produced at the same factory with Bora. But the hero of our study is distinguished by the peppered character characteristic of all seat models. Toledo's are equipped with powertrains from the Volkswagen AG arsenal, and the chassis is tuned for active driving. However, compared to the hotter seat hatchbacks, the sedan turned out to be quite roomy and comfortable, and also more restrained in character. By the way, unlike the first generation Toledo, the character of our story is not a pseudo dash, but a real sedan. Almost all cars offered on the secondary market today were purchased from official Ukrainian dealers of the brand. The maximum mileage is about 180,000 kilometers, so the condition of the cars is not bad. Broken copies are rare. The sedan was bought not by the golden youth, but by people who are more restrained and reasonable, primarily men. The most common engines in Ukraine are 1.6 and 1.8 liter naturally aspirated gasoline engines, transmissions are five-speed manual, although in our country there are many cars with diesel engines and automatic transmissions. The equipment is quite rich, in addition to the basic ABS, there is a brake force distribution system, climate control, leather steering wheel, gear knobs and seats, a sunroof. The famous Ital Design Studio and the famous stylist Walter De Silva, who once created Alfa Romeo models, worked on the Toledo style. The front of the Toledo is similar to the seat Leon hatchback, which was released simultaneously with the sedan. The metal of the body is reliably protected from corrosion by galvanization. But in the event of damage to it in an accident, especially the rear, not all body parts can be replaced quickly. Due to the low prevalence of the model, dealers do not keep large stocks in warehouses. So long. The interior equipment has no characteristic weaknesses. A well-finished interior, even on the oldest specimens, as a whole, does not annoy with squeaks. Is that sometimes there may be a rattling of the folding back of the rear seat or vibration of the front side windows in a half-lowered state. The visibility from the driver's seat is sufficient, the seats are German-style solid, and the rear sofa folds in parts to increase the already considerable luggage compartment, 500-1360L. The noise insulation of the car is made at the proper level, but with vigorous acceleration, a light base of the engine clearly makes its way into the cabin, the designers must have done this intentionally, trying to emphasize the peppered temperament of the model. Engine. The power hidden under the hood of Toledo is produced by engines known from other models of Volkswagen AG, including the Spanish brand. The weakest of them is a 101 horsepower 1.6 liter gasoline, the most popular is a 1.8 liter with 5 valves per cylinder, 125 horsepower. Toledo with the turbocharged version of this engine, 180 horsepower, common on the Leon hatchback and other models of the German concern, were not delivered to Ukraine. Just a few copies of cars with a five-cylinder engine of an unusual Turo layout VR5, 2.3L, 170 horsepower, were brought to Ukraine, for example, only two of these were sold by an official dealer in the capital. Shown at the Geneva Motor Show in 1999, Toledo Cupra with an all-wheel drive transmission and a V6 engine, 204 horsepower, did not become a production car, and naturally, it is not available on the domestic market. Diesel versions on our roads are relatively rare, they are all of the same volume, 1.9 liters, but due to various settings of the power system, the power can be different, from 90 to 150 liters. With All engines are well known to the mechanics of domestic service stations specializing in Volkswagens. Toledo motors of this generation are still far from overhaul, the only thing they need today is timely service. Not counting the oil change. Both diesels and petrols require replacement of timing belts together with rollers after 90,000 kilometers, flushing of injectors, injection motors, after 40 to 60,000 kilometers, and replacement of spark plugs, also injection engines, after 60,000. Seat engines do not like low-quality gasoline, with frequent refueling with such fuel. Candles and nozzles can become dirty earlier than usual, and the fuel pump fails. When servicing the timing gear drive, it is necessary to check the condition of the pump, with critical wear of which the timing belt breaks. 
In versions with a 1.6-liter engine, the block for turning on the electric fan of the cooling system may break, and failures of thermostats are also noted. Rare in our area, the VR5 engine is no different in operation. A timing chain hidden in its bowels is designed for a lifelong service life. The only malfunction in the electrical system is the burning of the wire coming from the generator at the place where it enters the power fuse box on the battery cover. Transmission The Toledo has a front-wheel drive transmission, in most cases a 5-speed manual. When the backstage is dirty, squeaks appear in it, which are eliminated with silicone grease. With a moderate driving style, and this is how most Toledo owners drive, the car rarely shows the illness typical of hotter VW hatchbacks cutting off the differential rivets. Also, the company's service specialists did not recall cases of replacing clutch discs, sometimes even surviving the main cylinder of the hydraulic drive. The operation of automatic machines, they are four-speed, is not accompanied by any nuances. The lubricant in the gearbox and automatic transmission does not need to be changed. Suspension. Suspension at Toledo is traditional for this class. It is McPherson in front and semi-independent with a twisted beam at the rear. The running gear of all seats is set up in a sporty way, while the Toledo does not call it unnecessarily rigid. It does not allow rolls and corners, is energy intensive, elastically fulfills waves and bumps, and the highway responds only to minor defects with tangible shocks. On our roads, the suspension has proven to be durable. The first, with a run of 60,000 kilometers, are the stabilizer bushings, it is only in the front and the design of its rubber plastic struts provides them with a much longer resource. The rear silent block of the front suspension arm is enough for about the same 60,000 kilometers. For more than 100,000 kilometers, silent blocks of the rear beam have been operating, about the same number of ball bearings of the front end. After 100,000 kilometers, shock absorbers lose their effectiveness, and the upper front cushions request replacement every 80,000 kilometers. Drivers who do not count pits and potholes can already kill the front hub bearings by 50 to 60,000 kilometers. In cars with a heavy VR5 power unit, the front suspension springs sag rather quickly. It is gratifying that all the consumables of the chassis are replaced separately from the levers. Steering. All copies are equipped with power steering with variable effort. The rails are still working without problems and the power steering pump may start to buzz with age, but even after that it remains operational. For the durability of the steering, the oil in its hydraulic system is replaced every three years. After 90,000 kilometers you need to monitor the pump drive belt. Tie rod ends are replaced every 100,000 kilometers. Brake system. The Toledo brakes are set up loyally, the force on the pedals is easy to dose, and the deceleration builds up gradually. All brake mechanisms are disc, ABS was already installed in the basic configuration. Restrained drivers can have front pads for 80,000 kilometers. This should be taken into account if, when inspecting a chosen instance, before buy, you have to calculate the actual mileage of the car according to the condition of the brake pads and discs. Toledo is a car for a driver who, in addition to driving pleasure, needs practicality and comfort, and other cars seem boring to him. In addition, the maintenance of the car will not seem burdensome to the new owner. Like almost everything that is done under the wing of Volkswagen, this car is reliable and durable.